Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, never gonna get used to saying that. I can't believe I'm actually a YouTuber. But I wanted to welcome you back to my channel for another video. And today is going to be a little, I guess, inflammatory. It is about something that people get very sensitive about. It is about veganism. Uh, whether you're pro-vegan, anti-vegan, um, people have very strong like gut feelings to that word and today I wanted to talk about whether or not veganism will really save the world whether or not veganism can really make a difference some people think it's a load of baloney some people think it is the end-all be-all what everyone needs to be doing and I wanted to start a conversation just about that that exact topic so there's some things I wanted to get into first. Um, I guess disclaimer one is my hair is going to be different every video. We're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> um, yeah, just whatever strikes my fancy is whatever is going to be. Little cute braid bob action, I guess. So who knows what the next video will be. Maybe it'll be a mohawk at this point. Um, yeah, number two... I thought I had more stuff to say. I feel like that's just it. I guess that was the only disclaimer. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that was it. Um, okay. So let's get into the video. If you don't know what veganism is and you have lived under a rock for, I don't know, at least, at least five years, you've been under the rock, then veganism is... Veganism is many things. It's a diet, but it's also like a way of life and an ideology. The diet component is not eating meat or dairy or animal products in general. So you're not eating burgers, you're not eating mashed potatoes with butter and cream, you're not eating anything dairy, animal, meat related. You're not even, if you're strict, you're not eating um, anything cooked with a hint of butter in it, anything cooked with a whiff of butter you're not eating honey um if you're more than just a vegan in terms of diet and it's more of an ideology and a way of life you're probably not going to wear pearls you're not going to wear fur um you're not going to use any cruelty free makeup so i'm a fool <laughs> i don't mean cruelty free i mean you're not going to wear makeup that's tested on animals. If you're vegan, you are going to wear cruelty-free makeup. So, yeah, veganism, there's a lot of layers to it. You can you could be kind of loose. You can be kind of strict. Some people are vegan during the week and not on the weekends. <laughs> people have different, you know, it's your life. You could do whatever choices you want. So people make it their own thing. Um, yeah. Number two, people's reasons for going vegan... Uh, I kind of touched on this just now, animal rights. Uh, that would be if it's more of like your ideology and you're not wearing fur because, and that's part of a bigger thing of you believing that animals have rights. Um, animals have rights, I don't know what this little, just, I don't know how I feel about this. The hair. Um, anywho, some people believe that animals have rights. I believe it's that animals have equal rights to humans and in the sense that as humans we don't have the right to kill animals for just for our just to feed ourselves or just to you know wear them and stuff like that that they are their own entities and they have intrinsic value um yeah i think personally personally don't get crazy personally i don't think that animals have equal rights to humans. I think that that is because I am a black woman, so it's kind of a double whammy on the rights thing, where I don't get equal rights because I'm black and I don't get equal rights because I'm a woman. So I just feel like there's a whole lot of things we have to tackle first before we say that animals have equal rights to humans. I think that when there's still issues of police brutality and mass incarceration, and unequal pay, there's a whole lot of things we have to work out first before I'm gonna say that an animal has equal rights to me. 
Um, yeah, I think we can get there maybe, but it's not my priority. It's not my experience. So yeah, I respect if that's yours, but for me, there's some things we gotta do first. Um, I think that if I was to go vegan, it would be because of, because I wanna limit the negative impact um, I have on the environment. I think that it is a cool personal choice to reduce your impact and reduce your carbon footprint. Um, meat and dairy produces a lot of waste. In addition to being, you know, terrible for the animals, it produces a lot of waste. Carbon emissions, um, even just feeding cows, it releases, they release so much methane, and methane is a greenhouse gas, and methane traps heat, so that aids in warming the environment and warming the atmosphere. So it's common sense to think that if you want to help the environment, you're not going to eat meat, and you're not going to eat dairy and animal products because you're contributing to the waste that's going into our atmosphere. So I think that one day I will be vegan. I think that right now I won't. <laughs> and I guess right now is probably just how I feel in this moment regarding sophomore year. I probably won't be vegan by the end of sophomore year. I mean, never say never. I don't want to say never, but I could see it happening at some point. Yeah, that's, we'll go on this journey together. You'll see me on my journey on the, on this YouTube channel. Uh, I Like I said in so many videos, I mean, I have two videos, so it's not so many videos. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not perfect, and we're all on this journey together. So yeah, you'll see my journey. Um, yeah, so those are some re reasons people go vegan. And yeah, I respect them all. So I guess getting into the meat, no pun intended, <laughs> is the question that needs to be answered about is veganism enough is veganism enough to make a difference on the climate is veganism going to save the world basically I think the simple answer to that is no and before you get all crazy uh, let's get into my reasoning I think veganism alone veganism by itself if the only thing you are is vegan, you're not going to save the world. I think that it's a step in the road to saving the world and reversing the damage we've done to this environment. It is not the only thing. I think that it's a very important personal choice. And I, I know some people, like I've seen on Twitter lately, people argue that veganism isn't enough. And basically people say that like it's not our burden to try to save the environment when it's been governments and corporations who have done enormous damage and to that I say I understand but you also have to realize we are the consumers and these companies wouldn't exist without us buying it so you can't say that it's just the corporation's fault when we're the ones you know buying meat and buying dairy and buying single-use straws and buying everything that's making people cut down trees and everything that's making people clear land and pollute water that there there's a market for that obviously if it's happening and that market is us so you can't say the burden is only on the corporations when we kind of are the corporations or at least we're fueling the corporations so I think in terms of veganism it's a really great step and I think that if more people did it and it was a very wide personal choice it would really make a big difference um i think it's one of first steps in changing like in changing our own daily lives like it's one of the things that you can do i think that with being vegan you should also you know go thrifting you should also recycle and also don't forget the other two r's reuse and reduce those are the most important ones and recycle because if you recycle something it's already made it already took the energy it already made the waste and yes it's not going into the landfill but it's better to just not use something at all or reduce your consumption of something so it doesn't have to be made does that make sense yeah it should make sense i mean it's, it's facts so yeah um i think you should also i don't know stop using single-use plastic uh there's just so many things you could do to reduce your impact in conjunction with being vegan. I just don't think that's the 
that's not the only thing. Yeah, there's just so many things you can do to reduce your carbon footprint and vegan is one of them. I would also say to the people who don't believe veganism matters at all, uh, that's just not true. I think there's an in-between of it, of people who believe it's end-all be-all and people who think it does nothing at all. There's something in the middle where, you know, it's a, it's a step is what I'm trying to just really, um, what's the word? What I'm trying to really like emphasize, that's the word. Veganism alone isn't enough. And I think also to the people who believe that does nothing, um, veganism, veganism is a personal choice and it's a personal, almost like a personal revolution. Like it's, it's a person taking the time to go against the grain and do something that is more difficult, but it is, you know, making a difference whether it's big or small. And I think that with every movement there's been, uh, this is like the environmental movement, sustainability movement, I think with every other movement, whether it's been um, LGBTQ rights or civil rights or women's rights, we've never waited for corporations or the government to make the first move. We've always done something We've always mobilized to to get the public swept up to do something and make a difference because once we put the pressure on these people then things will change if we all say ah it's so terrible that they're that they're polluting the earth and it's the corporation's fault who's buying from the corporations if we don't make a difference then nothing's going to change I think a lot of it does a lot of the burden does rely on us and our personal choices so we can't we can't just say it's about the corporations because we kind of are the corporations, at least where they're base, where they're consumers. We're all buying from Amazon. We're all eating at, I don't know, whatever grocery store. We're all going here, we're all going to these restaurants. We're all buying fast fashion. So if someone's buying it, they're, they're producing it. We have to get to that level where the public cares enough that we all start making choices as a unit that actually make a big impact. Um, that's why I feel like veganism isn't enough, but it's a step. Just like thrifting isn't enough, but it's a step. And not throwing out your stuff in the garbage when it could be recycled is a step. Um, yeah. So I guess that's my two cents. I'd like to really open up this conversation. Um, let me know if, let me know some things like if you would ever go vegan, if you think veganism is enough, if you think it is corporations fault and government's fault or you believe the burden is on us. Let me know down below and I hope that this can really start a dialogue. Um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Also, let me know what topics you want me to talk about next. Sounds cool. Thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you soon.